Hey guys, my name's Tanya, and if you're new here, I am a reseller, which just means that I go to thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, and I buy undervalued items, and then I turn around and sell them online uh, all over the U.S. and overseas as well. This video, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm actually going to take you in my workspace in my room that I have that has all my inventory in it, and I had a ton of sales. The, just this weekend for Saturday and Sunday. This is Monday. I need to get them shipped out and they were really good. I had a couple that you probably be really surprised about. I sold a half bottle of perfume for $150. That's right. It was only half full and I sold a sweater for over $100. So you're not going to want to miss this video. Stick around. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. We got to hurry up. I only have 20% left on my battery on my iPad. So let's get to pulling these orders. So we have 12 on eBay to grab. Let's see what pops up here first. All right, we sold a DVD VCR combo. This is, I only sell this type. I don't really, I don't sell DVD players by themselves um, or vhs combo or just vhs players by themselves either it usually has to be the combo for me to sell it and i prefer that it has the remote so that it sells for more so we're gonna go ahead and grab this one right here uh they paid 60 dollars for it and they paid shipping on top of that so let's it'll be on the rack what is that it's a phillips so it's gonna be up here on one of these racks it's pot nope not these it must be on this back rack over here let's cruise over here kind of ran out of room for stuff on that front rack so now we're back here this is probably it i think i just listed this uh maybe less than a month ago yeah and it has the remote and the manual with it so i got this at uh, America's thrift store and they almost always charge like $6.99 for it. So we turn $6.99 into $60. Next item we're going to grab is this women's Ariat flame resistant jeans. I sold these for $35 on a best offer and I got these at the bin so I probably paid like a buck fifty for them and they're over in bin SS which is over here. I do all my bins by letter so here's this one that way i can find everything pretty easy i believe this is these right here yep area it's right here all right next is a poetry blouse i just bought this at the salvation army half off sale so i think i paid maybe three dollars for it Sold it for $29.98, and it is in QQ. And I bought this at the same exact time. That's why they're in the same bin. This was a FedEx sweater, an employee sweater, and I sold it for $20. And I think I paid $3 or $3.50 for it. I took a best offer on that one. So both of these are in QQ. So let's go grab that. That should be right here. Here's the poetry top right there. And I think this is, yep, here's the FedEx sweater right there. All right, there's those. Stack those up there. Let's see what we have next. So, oh yeah, these are some men's um, Jordan shorts. I love picking up Jordan basketball shorts. I got these at the bins as well. So maybe a dollar, dollar fifty into them, which I even doubt it was that. Sold them for $39.98, and these are in letter T, which should be, nope, T's right over here, right here, letter T. Oh, there they are, right there. You can see them right on top. Yeah, these have not been listed too long at all. All right. This came from my husband's office. <laughs> it's just a Star Wars DVD set. Sold it for $16. Ah, oh, it's right here. Right there. 
And I charge shipping for everything, so you'll just know shipping's on top of this. Oh, uh, right here, this is a John Deere fuel filter. I found this fuel filter the same time I found those Jordan shorts. And I sold it for $22.98 plus shipping, and it's in L. And let's see, L is right here. Nope, oh, it's right there. See that John Deere green? <laughs> right there. This was, uh, I don't even remember buying these, so this must be really old. It's women's Chandler Hill black high-rise genuine leather pants. Took a best offer on these because I don't even remember them at all. And they sold for $22 plus shipping, and they're in bin and N. Let's go find those. That's this bin. It's flipped around. <laughs> this is probably going to be hard to find because they're probably all the way in the bottom since I don't even remember them. See if I can feel a pair of leather pants. Oh, oh this might be them. This kind of feels, yep, that feels like leather. Look at that. Didn't even see it all the way at the bottom, and I can tell. You can tell just by feeling it after you've been doing this a long time. All right, even through the bag. So here's those leather pants. Uh, this sold this pair of Donald J. Pliner pants and the, or not pants, shoes. And these actually had damage to them, and I'll show them to you, which I discovered completely disclosed in the listing sold them for $29.98 I got these in a thread up mystery box so they're gonna be somewhere on one of my shoe shelves not really sure which one I put all my shoes on shelves so I don't box any of them they might be over here um no I don't see them uh, nope, I don't see them over here. Got to be back over here somewhere. And they're red. Y'all see them? <laughs> Maybe you'll see them before me. Oh, there they are right down there. At least red's easy to see, huh? All right, here they are. I'm going to show you the damage too. So the inside had, I'll have to dust these a little bit. <sighs> The inside had a little bit of damage from where they had put the sticker right there. See that? And it tore it off. But also it has, they have like creases. See the creases right there and then right there. And you can see like it's got like a little bit of peeling. But it's the style of these shoes. They're like a platform penny loafer, which is why they ended up selling. I'm fairly confident of that. So for 30 bucks and they still had damage you know these are still a good pickup based upon the style all right this next sale uh again my husband was cleaning out his office and this was a camera that i bought him years and years ago ended up taking a best offer on it for 260 dollars. it's a canon eos rebel t4i this camera is super old like super old so this was a actually a pretty good price for this camera let's go grab it uh yeah i just put it over here on the rack so this will go out it's pretty heavy too it's got a lot of extras in it so the guy has got he got a pretty good deal all right there's that and we sold a Rob Zombie CD for eight bucks. So let's go grab that. I think I got this at a garage sale or something. I've had it for a while. Rob Zombie right here. There we go. Nice little CD. <laughs> All right. What do we have next? Look at this. This was a crazy sale right here. This, I just bought this at America's Thrift Store. This sold in less than 24 hours. I took a best offer of $150 because, I mean, it just sold super fast. 
this is discontinued. You cannot buy this fragrance from Hollister anymore. When you find discontinued products, people will pay for them. And this is the case here. I think there's one of these that's new in the box. Somebody has listed for $400 on eBay. But mine's half full and I sold it for $150. And it's over here in a two, which is one of these little bitties up here. I think I have it like right, yeah, right here on the front. Yep, here it is. Look, it's just a half full bottle of cologne. How crazy is that? Super crazy. But yeah, 150 bucks. All right, now we're going to switch over to what we sold on Poshmark. All right, so the first thing we sold was this sweater. Sold this for uh, full price on Poshmark. I'll put up the listing. My bin where my inventory bin is on ebay i keep it uh on there that's why i have ebay still pulled up this is my unsold item so when i sell something on poshmark then i come to ebay and it forces me to take it off of ebay from selling it on poshmark so that's how i know it's in the unsold and i know i won't sell it on ebay because this is where my inventory tag is so that's how i know where to find it so this uh sweater right here I ended up selling for $119 on Poshmark. So let's go grab that out of BB. And that's way up there. So I'm going to have to put you down so I can grab that. All right. Here's that sweater, that Chinti and Parker. It is a cashmere sweater. This is an extremely expensive brand that uh, has a very high retail value. So for them to pay $119 for it, it's, it's in excellent condition. It doesn't have anything wrong with it. It's not uncommon or unheard of based upon how much these sell for brand new. They sell for right around three dollars $400 brand new. Um, so yeah, it's a higher end brand. I bought that when we went to Birmingham, Alabama on vacation. And I paid $17 for it because I knew that it would sell for quite a bit. All right. Next sale we had are a pair of Skechers. They are like a ankle, little ankle boot. I sold these for $35 on Poshmark. So let's see if we can find those. I bought these uh, probably about a month and a half ago, maybe, at a garage sale for $2. So this is a good profit on these as well. I only pick up specific sketcher items and the little booties and boots, stuff like that. They usually do uh, really well. Oh, they're over here. Couldn't find them there for a minute. And here they are. Cute little booties. Nice little fuzzy inside. These are super comfortable. If these were a little bit larger, I might have kept these myself. Nah, I wouldn't have. I'd have probably only been able to wear them like two times down here. All right, let's see. Our next sale we have is this little velveteen bear. I ended up taking a best offer on this on uh, Poshmark for eight bucks just because I don't, um, I've had him for a really long time. So he's over in A1. I don't even know what I paid for him. I think I got him at a garage sale, honestly. So here's A1 over here on the floor. I keep my smaller stuff in my smaller bins. Here he is right here. He's so cute. Well, she. Isn't she so cute? It's adorable. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got her at a garage sale. Probably didn't pay more than 50 cents for her. Next item is a vintage men's Christian Dior long sleeve checkered shirt. This reminded me of like a picnic blanket. I sold it for $40 on Poshmark and it is in bin PP. Were we already in that bin today? No, we wasn't. Here it is. Oh, look, it's right here on top. Perfect. All right, here it is. This one actually has Dior on the pocket. So if you can get these, here's like the vintage, um, here's like the vintage tag right here. So if you can get these with like the um, logo or the spell out on the outside of the shirt, these do sell for more. 
So you'll want to definitely keep a lookout for that. I paid $2 for this at a garage sale and I actually bought a lot of these. I think I had like 12, 10 or 12 of these that I bought all were $2 a piece. So yeah, I ended up lotting up some of them and then other ones that were more desirable. I'm selling those all on their own. And there's my stack of items. Look at that. Everything totals to almost $1,000 in sales. Okay, guys, that was all of my sales for Saturday and Sunday. I've got to get a move on and get these packed. That Chinty and Parker sweater, I actually did a video uh, when, I, when we went to Birmingham. And I've sold a couple of items from that thrift store already. It was like, uh, I think it was called Sozo Trading Company. And that sweater I sold for $119 and I paid $17 for it. And I also had bought a Lily Pulitzer dress that I paid $30 for that I believe I sold for like $130. So I'm going to link that right above if you want to go watch that video. All you need to do is just click that little link up there. If you like this style video, let me know down in the comments and I'll do some more like it. I hope you all have a great week coming up. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.